Hello everyone, Zoom here again. Today we're actually going to continue the manual boost controller install on an internal actuator setup. So we're using the manual bicycle pump again to simulate the positive pressure, aka boost, uh, that would come from your turbo compressor. So what we have here now is from the bicycle pump to the gauge, your boost gauge, then we would run a T fitting now to the actual actuator. So if you watch the boost gauge, you'll see it'll start to open roughly around 7 psi, it'll start to come off its seat. Make it bleed back, and you can watch it again, probably around 7, it'll start to come off its seat. Alright, so she's pretty much fully open at 7. So the spring rating in here is probably around 7 PSI, which is what a factory uh, SR20 will probably be running around. Um, so, so this is the correct way to install a manual boost controller on an internal actuator. We still have the compressed line. The compressed line will go from here. So we would T this. This line now would go to the actuator and the line would go to the south end. This would leave open to atmosphere or you could actually put another line on here and it's vented away um, depends on the location where you're going to install it for this demonstration we're just going to leave it open so let's see where we are right now I'm just going to screw this off, screw this down and let's see so you can see it's starting to bleed some of the pressure off Yep. And let's tighten this up now and see how we increase some boost. So I'm just going to screw this in a few clicks. And as you can see now, it's a lot more pressure. It takes to open the actuator, increasing boost. So effectively, you just increase your boost with a manual boost controller for about 40 bucks. And very simple way to do it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys found this video informative. Please feel free to leave any feedback in the comments below. And as always, stay tuned.